Earlier today, Mayor-elect LaToya Cantrell released a new transition report addressing many aspects of the city, including those controversial traffic cameras. And this issue has been a hot topic across the city for years. And tonight, Jade Cunningham has more on the recommendation that's being given and how some are responding. Jade? Well, Natalie and Ton, people have something to say about these traffic cameras here in New Orleans, and some are wondering what's to become of them once Cantrell takes office. People in New Orleans have strong opinions on traffic cameras. Why should I have to pay for cameras when I'm paying for police officers? I think they're unfair. It's something Mayor-elect Latoya Cantrell has also shown opposition to, previously saying on the campaign trail she'd turn them off if elected. They should definitely go. Recently, dozens of cameras were installed around New Orleans to help improve safety, especially near schools. And while that is a priority for Cantrell, there's some skepticism if the cameras have helped. We really don't know if it is actually reducing or, or uh, making us safer. But in a transition report released Thursday, Cantrell's Government Operations Committee is recommending keeping some, suggesting to dedicate revenue from traffic safety cameras in school zones to public safety goals. I understand that they're trying to stop certain things regarding the traffic, so I do understand both sides of it. According to this transition report, tickets from these traffic cameras placed around town make up for about 4% of the city's revenue. So there is a question fiscally on what would happen if these cameras are removed. If we don't have that revenue, we've got to figure out where we're going to get that revenue from. City Council President Jason Williams isn't advocating cameras be taken down, but says it's a subject that may be worth revisiting. I'm willing to take a, a new look at all of it, uh, if that's what the people want. Um, but we have to make sure that we can pay for all the needs of the city. Cantrell wasn't available for an interview, but a statement from her spokesman says she hasn't changed her position on traffic cameras and that the recommendation is among many, which Cantrell and her team will consider to help shape policy going forward. And again, this is uh, this suggestion is one of hundreds that Cantrell and her team will look at to help set her agenda. And just a reminder, Cantrell officially takes office on Monday. Reporting live, Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. Jay, thank you. Just four days before Cantrell is set to take office, State Attorney General Jeff Landry sent out a statement saying that Cantrell remains under investigation. A Landry's statement reads in part, while we normally do not comment on investigations, we feel the need to do so in this matter, since there has been too much misinformation being spread in the public. Our investigation is still ongoing, and it is more widespread than just the mayor-elect. But Cantrell's spokesman says this morning Landry's office indicated that she would not face any charges. In a statement, the spokesman says, quote, contrary to what Landry's statement insinuates, the findings of his staff completely exonerate mayor-elect Cantrell. The AG told Eyewitness News he would not comment beyond what was in his statement. And you can read much more on this story on our website, WWLTV.com.